We're here at West Whitleyburn Housing Cooperative in Canberra Slang on the outskirts of Glasgow, which is home to some of the most advanced broadband technology on offer. Thanks to equipment from Ockham Networks, the residents here are benefiting from a raft of services delivered over an innovative fibre optic network. We're here with Technical Support Manager from Fibre Options, Barry Carter, to tell us all about why this network is so unique. Hi Barry. Hello. <laughs> so what is so special about this fibre optic network? Well, from, from concept it's been quite different and uh, Ockham has allowed us to provide a, a triple pay service in a really future-proof way. We have 2.5 gigabits per second downstream and 1.25 gigabits per second upstream. So we've got a lot of protection for future capacity and we can deliver IPTV, we have a VoIP system and we offer a variety of broadband packages for gamers, for small offices run in the homes or if it's just a basic user for somebody who wants an old POTS phone we can integrate that into the network and provide services for all 100 homes and we still have the capacity to migrate business solutions for the West Whitleyburn Housing Cooperative at a future date we can migrate them on still have the capacity remaining and if we do make decisions uh, with West Whitleyburn to expand the network to other homes. There's excess capacity left on the OLT to handle that without any more capital investment. IT officer Morag Gladstone has joined us to tell us what it's like to manage the fibre network. So Morag, what does your job entail? Well, I'm responsible first for first and second line support of our fibre network, which is made really easy with the Ockham equipment that we have installed. We have a GUI that we can use to get a complete snapshot and overview of the system and can immediately see if we've got any problems there. And from that, it's very easy to drill down into each individual ONT installed in the property and to resolve issues remotely without having to come on site and into people's houses. This is the comms room that houses all the equipment necessary for West Whitleyburn's network. As you can see, it's very compact and very self-contained. The room here is approximately 12 foot by 18 foot and that's more than enough room to house the three cabs that we have. This is the first cabinet, is the passive cabinet. By passive, simply no power. And Ockham runs its split network on these fibers. So here we house the splitters and then we distribute the signal to every one of the 100 homes. We have excess capacity here. We can cope with 128 homes at the moment and we have 100, so there is excess capacity. We're now here with Susan Payton, who's the project officer for West Whitleyburn Housing Cooperative. So Susan, tell us about the benefits that the residents have been experiencing since the fibre infrastructure was in place. Um, the fibre infrastructure got put into place um, in January 2008 onwards. Um, the benefits that they've seen so far, um, when the, before the, the infrastructure was put into place, there was 64% of our residents that didn't have access to broadband. Um, since the infrastructure was put into place, all 100 of our, of our new tenants have the, the um, broadband um, facilities in their home. Um, so they're able to do things like going online to do shopping and banking and to, to look for jobs and things like that. Ockham is, uh, is quite unusual. Some companies you deal with, they'll spend more time trying to come up with an excuse or a reason for not dealing with a problem than would be necessary to solve it. Uh, I find Occam at the opposite end of that spectrum. Uh, their support is phenomenal. Uh, there's no other word for it. Uh, I get a call if I raise a ticket within 15 minutes if it's network affecting. If not, it's dealt with within a few business hours. And the level of expertise is never been read from a manual. These people know their stuff. It's a pleasure to work with them. Ockham Networks and Fibre Options have worked closely together on this project to deliver to the people of West Whitleyburn a truly future-proof fibre optic network that's already helping to alleviate digital exclusion in the area.